Beginner's Guide to Clear Sky, Part 3. We're going to be talking about emissions, which hopefully won't happen during the course of the episode, and anomalies. Emissions are something you've been exposed to already. They're new to this game. They're going to stick around for Clear... or not Clear Sky. Uh, Call of Pripyat. And they function very differently... They don't function very different. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, the way an emission works is the sky turns red, you get a notification calling you to seek shelter. And it'll point you to the nearest shelter. And they talk about emissions in the tutorial you're looking for a sturdy building, a bunker, uh, the train tunnels, something that you can hide in and wait out the emission. If you don't, you die. Just point blank, they just outright kill you. There is no surviving them. One of the effects that it does have, other than temporarily sending everyone running for cover and killing anything out in the open, is they respawn artifacts. And artifacts now only show up in anomalies. I think there are a couple exceptions, but they only show up in anomalies. That's why I'm back here. This is the tower from the beginning of the game. It's right over there. This is the anomaly you have to go through unless you're feeling really, really creative. And anomalies in this game are stationary, just like in the previous game, but now they're, they're basically clusters of the anomalies from uh, Shadow of Chernobyl. And you know, the detector still works for these individual things. So this little springboard in here. And they uh, th they usually have names. I think this one doesn't have a name, but... it The same general premise to anomalies applies. The detector goes off, and you want to start taking it slow. I'm about to walk right into something. Hi. Um, you want to take it slow, chuck your bolts, and just generally be careful. What? Apparently I did walk into something. Let's go back where I'm not about to die. Now, the detector is now how you find your artifacts within anomalies. This basic one is absolutely terrible. There's two others. One will point, it has a kind of a compass dial on it, and it will light up to the nearest artifact. So if I just drop jellyfish here, it would point to the jellyfish, whereas this one just gets really annoying and not much else. Anything you can find with this, I think it's echo detector, is really circumstantially useful. I mean, you get jellyfish, which I'll go in more in depth, but jellyfish has changed. Most of the artifacts have changed. But let me just do a quick check. I don't think there's a named Okay, so apparently they're not listed in uh, people will refer to them by name if they're giving you directions or if you're looking at a stash. I don't remember what all the anomalies are called but the important thing to remember when it comes to anomalies is 
after an emission, I think there's a chance for them to respawn, and they're themed. Like this one, using Shadow Chernobyl as an example, if you had enough springs, you could probably just wander through here no problem. There's other ones that have poison, heat, high radiation. They have, you know, these combinations of things. Usually it's going to be radiation and something, or just one thing and lots of it. And as long as you're in the anomalies area, you're possibly taking damage. So the counter to that is either from within that same anomaly or from another anomaly, you get stuff that just, you know, like Jellyfish has minus two radiation, you can get stuff that just gives you psi protection or just gives you fire, etc, etc. And you just load those onto your belt or get, you know, real armor, not the leather jacket, you get real armor and plot around in there with your detector out ready to snatch up the artifacts and it is important to note that the artifacts are invisible unless you've got this out but again outside a couple exceptions the only places you're going to need the detector out is going to be when you're going into the anomaly. That's all I've got, so I will see you next time.